if you take an image like the one on the right here, I know this is really basic, but it's just to try and teach you a couple of keywords. You can zoom into that image and it will be broken up in square blocks of color like this. So if you think about how a computer might use binary to represent an image like this, well, essentially, they need to work out how many colors are within the image. So we've got a nice simple one here, we've got two colors. And then they'd need a different code to represent each color, like this. So if, if we said one was white and zero is black in this simple example here, we could create a binary string that could be used to save our image. And that is very similar to how it actually works. But getting a bit more technical, we need to know what we call a little square block of an image. So one, one of these little squares is known as a pixel. Okay, and if you want a definition of a pixel to remember, it's the smallest addressable area of an image. All right, that's worth marks in if it comes up as an exam question. So a pixel is the smallest addressable area of an image. It means the smallest area that can be changed. So a pixel can only be one color and one color only. Um, but by having enough pixels, you can represent, well, with a digital camera, you try and represent real life. Okay, so a pixel is the six little square blocks of color. Each one's a pixel, and it's the smallest addressable area of an image.